Okay, here we got a Droid R2D2 from 1988. It's the Brazilian version. So this is the glass light, lighty version. You can just see the logo right in the bottom corner there, glass lighty or glass light. Uh, AFA graded. It's got card 70, bubble 85, figure 85. So there's a bit of veining, a, a, a quite a bit very faint but a sort of creased along the midline of this card. Uh, so this is a Brazilian card, uh, the R2D2 droids version, so it's just like the vintage, normal vintage figures except it's been painted different and this is the version with the lightsaber pop-up lightsaber and he's got a big red eye and then you've got the quite a nice piece of artwork on the card so this is a generic card, all Brazilian figure uh, droid figures that have come with the same card. The only difference is the sticker that they stick here, where it says R2D2. Uh, you've got Vlix there. He's the most famous Brazilian figure. He's probably he's most likely the rarest Star Wars figure. So the guy behind C3PO with the greenish face, that's Vlix. Uh, you've got Boba Fett in the background as well. You've got C3PO and R2D2. You've got uh, some added scenes here at the top. You've got Vlix again and Tig Form, I guess, and then you've got uh, George Dusat or whatever his name is, and then you've got the Droid lo logo at the top. And there you go. I've just been watching a few of the Droid episodes on YouTube, so they're pretty definitely aimed at kids. Okay, so here you've got the back of the card. You've got the same image in the top corner, plus uh, the logo again, then some Brazilian Portuguese, I guess. Uh, the figures that were available, you've got C3PR R2D2, Sal Jobin, uh, Kia Mole, Kezeban, uh, Jules Dusat, and of course the most famous is Vlix there. He is virtually impossible to get, and he'll cost a huge, huge amount of money. And you've got two of the vehicles that are available. You've got the ATL and the thing there, side gunner, I think that's what it's called. Okay, so there you go. This is the Glassy Light Brazilian Star Wars action figure. It's pretty rare. I mean, you don't get many Glassy Light figures coming up. There, you can get Power of the Force cards as well. These are the last of the vintage line figures, so. This is where the sort of demarcation is drawn between vintage and modern figures because these came out in 1988. So this is the sort of last, uh, last hurrah, as they would say, of for <laughs> vintage figures back in the a long time ago. And then you had to wait another seven years before um, Kenner re-released the Power of the Force or brought out new figures in '95. So there you go, R2D2. It's got. It's also got a different sticker to it compared to the vintage figure. I mean the regular R2D2. It's got a sort of droid style uh, cut sticker plus. It hasn't got a silver chromish effect on its dome. It's got a sort of a black grey with the red eye and the green lightsaber. You can just see it pop it sticking out. Just there, the lightsaber's just there. Okay, so. Here you are, Brazilian Star Wars figure from 1988 droids. Okay, here we've got in 1985 or 84, I think it's 85, uh, Ewok on a Canadian card. It's not an Ewok, it's actually a Duloc Scout, but it doesn't say the name of the character on the card at all. Uh, it's a French and English Canadian card. So it's got the language in French, so it's from the TV series, and it's the same thing in French at the bottom, and then it's got Star Wars and La Guerre des Etoiles, and the ages in French. And there's the D Duloc Scout. So he comes with a sort of club, and he's got quite a large head, red eyes. So the only Duloc I don't have now is the King Gornish, the rest I've got, and I've got the two Ewoks as well. There weren't many figures in this range. This one's kind of nice because it's got the wrong coin with it. It's got the Lady Erga, or whatever her name is, uh, coin. So that's 
makes it a bit nicer and all the Canadian cards didn't have pictures of the character on them they just had the same same generic cards so here you've got a picture of Wicket and Nisa sad that I know the character's name but you know so and there's little Wicket as well up there as well and the back of the card is the six figures that were uh, available in the range you've got Wicket I've got that one I've graded I've got that one which I've done a recent review of uh, that's the one I haven't got the king then there's the Lady Agra, then there's the Scout and the sh Shaman, Dulux Shaman. So, if you've ever seen the Ewoks cartoons, then you know what I'm talking about. And then there's all the stuff that you can get with them the Ewok Battle Wagon, the Ewok Village or Treetop House, and then two uh, accessories the Glider and the Catapult. And so, this is your Canadian carded Ewok figure. Uh, I think all the other ones I've got are on US cards. So this is my first Canadian Ewok figure. And they're just as common as US cards. There's no should be no price difference between the two. So there you are. Okay, here we've got a droid uh Kia Mole character on a Canadian card. So this is my first vintage droid card on a Canadian card figure. I've got two others. I've got uh, on the back uh, it tells you I've got uh, George Dusat and Jan Tosh and I did a review review of them a while back so if you just go want to see them. Well, I didn't really do a review of them I just took loads of pictures of them and put stuck it to music. So here this is Kia Mole. She's slightly rarer than those two characters and it says on her co coin that she's a freedom fighter and it's on a Canadian card so you've got Vlix in the background he's like probably the, one of the most valuable Star Wars figures going and he was only released in Brazil so there you go it's just like the Ewok figure I just showed you there it's got the French and, lang uh, French and English languages and then you've got the figure there which is kind of looks quite chubby in this her neck looks quite flabby as do her arms and she comes armed with a Bespin blaster in grey so that's just like squid head gun so there you are bubbles on these cards tend to yellow and then let's have a quick look at the back so you've got this what in this series you get 12 figures including Boba Fett which cost a fortune and the A-wing pilot and some of these figures are quite tricky to track down and then you've got in English and in French there. Okay, and the year it's at the bottom it says 1985. So that's your droid uh, figure. Okay, one more look at the Canadian droids and Ewok figure, Kia Mole and the Dulok Scout. Uh, these figures didn't really sell very well, so after the Return of the Jedi line and the Powder Force line, uh, Ken had tried to keep Star Wars going but by 1985 ev everyone was getting into computer games and well I certainly did and so I lost interest so these are the sort of the dying embers of the sort of vintage Star Wars line not everyone collects these some people don't consider these worth collecting I, I, I've only recently started collecting these ones so you know and it's still not too expensive some are I mean like Vlix is a cost of fortune but some of these these ones are too too. They're not going to break the bank, as they say. So that's and they're both Canadian. So these are both my first Canadian droids and my first Canadian Ewok. So there you are. Time to say.